On the eve of the unveiling for a proposed sports entertainment arena across from the Virginia Beach Convention Center, the arena, well, we have some reality checks here. Yeah, reality checks on whether our community will adequately support a pro team. Reality checks also on light rail. And this ten on your side, Sandy Fox, is here to tell us more about the reality checks on taxes to pay for it, too. Yeah, all these reality checks are vital vital to the discussion because they will come up anyway. And answering critics will be the key ingredient to building the public support for the proposed project. Here is Virginia Beach Councilman Bill DeSteff's reality check on whether this community can support a $350 million sports entertainment arena on this property for a pro basketball team playing 40 plus home games. The hockey team over in Norfolk, the Admirals, they, were, they did the equivalent of the Stanley Cup and there were still seats to be had all over the place and they were given tickets away. Here is the reality check on light rail. First of all, light rail comes from a different pot of money. Mayor Will Sessom says light rail coming to the beach and building the arena are mutually exclusive events. And find a funding mechanism, which would be federal money for rail. Now, if that funding mechanism isn't there, more than likely light rail will not occur. And here's the reality check for hotel motel operators. I'm greatly interested to see if we can have it. I think it would be a boom to this area. It would change the face of Virginia Beach. But Vern Burledge, who is also president of the Hotel Motel Association, says he is opposed to increases in sales taxes on rooms to pay for the arena. No one has told me that, and I have not heard that from a political figure or anyone in our industry. Mayor Will Sessoms, though, has suggested the possibility of doing just that, along with other revenue sources if necessary. So I would look for help from the Commonwealth. I would look for um, help for special task districts at the oceanfront, perhaps an increase on the uh, tax on hotel rooms, and uh, obviously the ticket sales revenue, which is huge. I think they have a budget in mind. How much they're going to spend on their vacation? And we're not the only game in town. I think we're the best game in town, but we're not the only game in town. And so they may decide that, hey, I'll have more to spend on food if I'm not spending on taxes in Virginia Beach. All these are really big issues, and those are some of the reality checks. Another big reality check is, what will the arena partners and the sports team owners put back into the community? Those promises will help silence critics that will certainly be vocal in the discussion. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. And you can see all of our coverage of the arena proposal on wavy.com. Learn more about the location and what it would take to build and of course how much it could cost. And you'll also find Bruce Rader's blog about the proposal. All you have to do is to log on to wavy.com.